Good day, my name is Mark Sergat, Senior Vice President of Global Sales Organization for FRHI Hotels and Resorts. So the topic of metrics and how we use metrics in sales organizations, I think is always a timely uh, point of conversation. And while we tend in the hotel industry to look at things like RevPAR, uh, or revenue per available guest, or revenue per uh, occupied room, uh, there's a number of standard metrics that we typically look to as we're assessing the health of our hotels or our assets. But what we tend to fall short on is how a whole different set of metrics plays uh, to the strength of the sales organization uh, or helps us develop a high performance sales organization. So when I think of metrics attached to salespeople and a specific sales function, one of the things that we look, look at frequently and like to look at in depth is how we're doing from a win-loss perspective. So we like to understand across all the market segments that we're working in, what are we winning? What are we losing? How are those percentages changing over time? And once we have data, that data helps us to dig deeper. And the real answers and the real insight lies in that data. So we want to understand, well, why specifically are we losing deals? Is there something related to our approach at the sales side? Is there something related to how we're interfacing with our customers? Is it a product issue, et cetera? Without win-loss analysis, we're simply guessing at the reasons as to why we win or lose. The other thing I would say is critically important is once you've outlined and established your sales methodology for your organization, that is how you go to market, how you want your salespeople to approach your customers, how do you know if it's working? How do you know if it's sticking? And so we get a lot of criticism around spending a lot of money on training, a lot of money on management, um, and the best way to deal with those questions around expenses related to training or development is to be able to prove that what you're asking your salespeople to do is actually working. So we just go back to what I would characterize as a somewhat old-fashioned way of evaluating our salespeople, and that's simply uh, looking at how they're performing in front of customers. So we like to use a ride-along program where our frontline sales leaders are evaluating our salespeople as they're interacting with customers. What is our sales criteria? What is our approach? How are they doing against that? Once we have that data, we're able to coach them quickly and help them advance or change uh, their approach so that they're aligned to what we believe customers want today. So that's a little bit about metrics and why I think they're very important and how they specifically relate to the sales discipline.